Good morning, this is Heidi Myers, immigration attorney, and today we're going to talk about the American Citizenship Act of 2021. The American Citizenship Act of 2021 is just a proposal. It was introduced in Congress this February 2021, so it is not a law yet, and it would really help foreign nationals who are highly skilled and who have been educated here in the United States. So first, it would greatly benefit foreign students who got their PhDs here in the United States in one of the STEM fields. STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. So those STEM PhDs would be exempt from the numerical limits on employment-based green cards. So someone who got their PhD here in the United States, say in computer science or biochemistry, they would not be stuck waiting years and years and years for their green card for lack of a visa number. So that's, that would be fantastic. It also provides for dual intent for F1 students so that applying for their green card doesn't create a problem in terms of maintaining their F1 student status. Moreover, it exempts from the annual limit on green cards for empl the employment preferences. It exempts spouses and children, so that frees up a lot more visa numbers. And people ha who have been waiting for more than 10 years for their employment-based green card would now be exempt from the yearly limits. So those folks would be able to get their green cards right away, those folks that have been waiting for more than a decade. It would also eliminate the per country limits on visas for the employment preferences. So this would greatly help um, folks born in India and China, especially. Now, um, another aspect of the proposal would be to help children of H-1B parents whose green card application is stuck in the backlog, it would, it would help those children so that once they turn 21, they would be protected from aging out and they would still be included in their mother or father's green card application. So this new bill had, would really greatly benefit folks who got their education here in the United States, who have their PhDs in the STEM fields, and all those applicants for employment-based visa numbers who have been waiting in the backlog, especially uh, if you are from India or China. So this is some really good news. Oh, and one more thing. It would also increase the visa numbers for other workers. Those are the uh, workers who have less than two years, uh, whose jobs require less than two years of experience. So for other workers, it would increase the visa numbers from 10,000 to 40,000 per year. So this, this would really, really help a lot of employers. It would help a lot of foreign nationals who were educated here in the United States and who have been waiting for a long time for their green cards. So everyone needs to write to, or. I guess we don't write any more email or contact your senators and representatives and urge them to pass this bill. This is Heidi Myers, immigration attorney. I'm at 11 Broadway, Suite 925, New York, New York, 10004. My number is 212-791-4007 or 646-508. 5225 and my email is Heidi Myers Law at gmail.com. Thank you very much. And if you all have any ideas for topics for more videos, just let me know. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.